Hi y'all, it's Sunshine. Um, welcome back or welcome to the channel. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, I guess let me, I haven't done anything about any, you know, like an introduction type thing in a while. So let me run that through real quick. I'm Sunshine. I am a full-time RVer. I live in a 40-foot toy hauler and call it my home. Uh, her name is Freedom and uh, we live near Abilene, Texas. Uh, I am from Wichita Falls, Texas and um, just kind of living day by day and uh, just seeing what life's out there. I crochet, I quilt, I cross stitch, I used to diamond paint but no longer um, and just kind of craft wherever you know it leads me. Um, being in Texas, I cannot crochet year round because it's hot. It's hot. Like 100 to 107 on some days. Most days. So, I have to do stuff that's that's pretty easy and not heavy in my lap or anything like that. Um, but then, on the other hand, there's only so many dishcloths and cotton stuff that you can crochet. So, um... My favorite stuff to do though with crochet is blankets. I have a never ending project going on that's a, called a Navajo blanket kit from Hirschner's. Many of my followers and many everybody knows that this blanket's gonna kill me, but I love it and it's gorgeous and it'll stay with me forever so it doesn't matter. Um, and uh, you know, doing cross stitch and stuff like that. Um, but I have been married twice will not make that mistake again unless they're like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blow it all the way off the table but I'm gonna put it up there in that pedestal of highly improbable he's gonna have to be flipping amazing for me to to ever think about it so um I've got two kids uh they're back home I'm not gonna go into details for their safety um just know that I got awesome kids that are with you know with people uh, my my parents so you know that's all that's gonna be said about that um, yeah and uh, just kind of living life every day enjoying it I have been kind of on a weight loss journey kinda um, I recently lost almost a hundred pounds uh, just doing the paleo diet uh, I still have my one can of Dr. Pepper every day the occasional cookie dough the occasional sweet you gotta have a little something before, so it doesn't totally ruin the rails of a diet. Um, and I try to do a lot of walking. Uh, try to get in two to three miles a day. Right now I'm looking at double knee replacement, and with the heat being hundreds plus, it's very hard to get those in. So most days I've only been getting one to two miles, and it sucks. Um, we have plenty of space to walk around here because the RV park I'm at is like really in the country and on a main highway well not like a main highway but it's it's got a highway attached to the main highway and so there's there's place to walk plenty of room to walk it just gets really dark really quick and that's the only time you can really walk out in Texas is at nighttime otherwise you're gonna burn to death <laughs> so anyway um, I started crocheting when I, about November of 2011. Um, I started to crochet uh, because I was a cutter. Not for an attention seeking cutter. I had a lot of anger issues and I didn't know how to deal with that anger. And so I turned that anger and frustration into teaching myself with the help of YouTube how to crochet. And then stuff just kind of went from there. Everything I have learned is through YouTube. Um, I, I didn't have somebody to sit down and hold my hand and show me how to do it. So um, at this moment, I am working on Glendon Place Rainbow Parfait. This is my own colorway. Um, this is not the call for threads because a lot of their stuff is that expensive thread and I'm not about to blow money on the expensive thread. Um, this is page four of six. 
uh, well no four six is right here I'm working on page five or six and then six is bill here but I'm I'm working on this one right here um, I'm really enjoying the stitch the floss that I am using is a vintage floss called iris and I do not think it's any longer around you may find some of it on eBay but for some reason I have a big old box of this stuff that just keeps I keep finding it so I know I've never ordered it so I'm thinking I got it from my Mimi I really don't know I'm also working on another one um, called Halloween hijinks Carolyn Manning design this one's a little tougher to stitch because it's start and stop and start and stop the Glendon place is very fluid you can take one color and go a lot long while for it um, the fabric you cannot see it enough it does not the video does not do this justice my dear friend Kirsty fat uh, does fabric dyeing so I paid her to dye my fabric for this piece absolutely gorgeous fabric like I said it's not showing up like it should it's just a beautiful piece she makes it silky soft I don't know how she does it but it's a trade secret so um, I've got those two pieces on the on thing and um, I completed page four on Glendon place and I was gonna I, what I'm trying was doing was switching from this one day to Halloween hijinks on the other day but this goes a lot faster and smoother so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and push and try to get page five and six done and go ahead and get it off the books and that way it'll I'll just have Halloween hijinks left to do I'm not a big fan of multiple multiple projects I have seen in groups where people have 40 80 100 something whips that would absolutely drive me nuts it would it would drive me nuts I, I couldn't handle that I don't even have that many patterns um, to do uh, I have a ton of I do have quite a bit of patterns but um, a lot of them I probably will never stitch so um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them just yet I need to go through the patterns and kind of weed out some but right now it's it is what it is so um, for Halloween hijinks I had a dear friend that gave me a quilting planner and for Halloween hijinks I started counting stitches I was curious to see how many stitches I get per day um, because I do this all day long um, and I, I stitch all day long pretty much um, so I've been keeping track of the day and the stitches and stuff and then in the very back and it's got a meal planner it's got all this kind of cool stuff but in the very back is a project planner that I may use for quilts or something um, but it's really cool and at the very very back is graph paper again you can use it for quilting because that's what it really is, is quilting um, I do quilt uh, I I only quilt tops Putting together the quilt is absolutely bull crap for me. I hate, I hate putting quilt tops together. It takes the joy, the fun, and everything out of it. I, I hate it. My recent quilt top is a Texas quilt top um, that I had. In, I, I purchased a state of Texas embroidery, and I put it on the cornerstones, um, embroidered it in the blocks with a TX on it. Uh, and it's sitting in my garage waiting for me to finish it. Uh, I'm going to go buy it. I've used sh back sheets for the back. Uh, because buying yards and yards of fabric is nonsense. When you can buy a bed sheet. And it does the same damn thing. So, um, I have a garage on my camper. I have a toy hauler. A 40 foot toy hauler. So my garage has the embroidery machine, the sewing machine all my business well not business stuff but you know like craft stuff that I need to finish to do whatever I want to do with um, I used to be really hard into my business of sunny creations but it's really taking the joy out of things so I am I just do it for fun and if I sell stuff along the way I sell stuff 
and if I don't I don't it's, it's not a big deal to me um, so hopefully I can get a sheet because I get my sheet I source my sheets from either Goodwill or I go to Walmart and try to find a flat sheet on clearance um, if I get it from Goodwill I do wash it and sanitize it uh, because you know nothing's washed with with um, Goodwill so anyway uh, hopefully I will find some or I'll look on marketplace the Facebook marketplace or the garage the online garage sale sites something like that is, is what it is and um, yeah I think that's pretty much it uh, sometimes I do get long-winded but some of y'all really enjoy my longer videos and I try to make them longer but we'll see and with this Texas heat I, I'm this close this close to just shaving all of this off but my hair does not grow it's taken probably six or more years to get it this long and it's super super thick and it probably needs to be washed I only wash my hair once a week I know some of you are like oh that's gross no it's not my hair doesn't get gross um, it does look a little shiny though so it may be getting time to wash but it's always been real shiny so I don't know it's not greasy feeling at all so I don't know anyway I only do it once a week I don't use I don't heat I don't use any heat like flat iron hair dryer nothing like that I, I, I don't do that stuff so anyway that's all I've got for y'all today I hope you have a wonderful I hope your 4th of July went really really well I hope you have all your fingers and um, hopefully you were smart enough to put the dog in the house I have seen so many posts today that the dog ran away common sense would tell you to put your dog in a safe secure place like put them in the bathroom with their favorite blanket some soft music the lights off and let them chill in there you know what I'm saying instead of trying to make them outside with the fireworks because dogs and people we, we don't do fireworks so um, I know I personally don't do fireworks I'm not a fan of them but um, I don't bash anybody that does them so you know it is what it is uh, but hopefully you had a really good weekend and I have found my neighbor had told me about a new lake so I want to go check it out and see if the fishing's any good and because uh, I love to fish oh I love to fish fishing's good stuff so anyway y'all take care and uh, have a good week this coming up week um, and uh, if you haven't subscribed I recommend you do if you don't want to subscribe that's fine too I mean I'm not big into subscriber count I like the small community because I get to know everybody so it's up to you if you want to smash that, that button or not um, anyway y'all take care and spread peace love and kindness 